Hey everybody, welcome to the three year celebration stash bash hop featuring a bunch of participants from How to Kill a Kit with Style. So I am going to be creating a hybrid layout. You saw the little, um, my little cheat sheet to make sure that I get all the elements of the recipe down below in the comments or in the description box. You will find the entire recipe, what everybody um, was given for this hop to play with. And you will also find a list of everybody's channels and video links. You can hop along and have some fun. This hop was completely organized by my good friend, Jen Gein. She is a Kaz mom here on uh YouTube and you will find her channel video link or video link listed down below. Give that girl a subscribe. Give her a huge like. She is my right hand girl and helps me out immensely over in the How to Kelly Kit with Style private Facebook group where we organize all of the fun and all of the lineups for every week or for every month. She is fabulous. So we are going to do this hop to celebrate the fact that we have been killing kits for three years. This is by far my longest running series and I am super excited that it is still going strong. As always, us kit killers are going to go ahead and we are going to take a break in December, but we will be back in January. So I am creating a hybrid layout. Um, most of the paper products you're going to see me use, in fact, all of the paper products you're going to see me use on this video are from Tracy Reed's My Stories Matter Collection. And all of these beautiful papers are printed at home, which is actually a really good thing because I love that background paper with the plus signs. I wanted to use it as my background. Um, and then I kind of covered it all up. Um, so there's that. But no worries, I'll just print a new one. I am inking everything up using Hickory Smoke Distress Oxide inks just to give it a little bit of shadowing, a little bit of color around the edges. And so that polka dot kind of confetti paper is going about two thirds of the way up my page. And then I have this beautiful yellow. I chose this particular paper or these, this particular collection because the colors are bright, a little bit on the bolder side. And I just felt like it was perfect for party page, which is what we're going to do today. So we're going to scrapbook a page of my oldest son at Morgan's graduation party. I finally kind of like dug into these pictures. I had kind of been, um, avoiding them a little bit because we had his, we had like a very small graduation party and it was at uh, a local restaurant, but the restaurant is very dark. So all my photos were not the brightest or the best. They're very dark. So the way I'm going to kind of tackle that as I work through these photos is to use some brighter patterns. And um, I've already kind of lightened them up as best I could. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of work through them. I also printed them kind of smaller sizes. So they're there, but um, they don't necessarily have to be the star of the show because they're really not great pictures. I'm going to go ahead and mat them all. And then I can kind of just um, kind of overlap them. Many of them have kind of some open space. And I am going to use four photos on my page. Um, if you're curious about the recipe challenge, uh, go ahead and head down to the description box below where it is all spelled out for you. Uh, I know I needed to have circles. I'm trying to do this from memory. Um, cause of course, you know, I threw the paper away that had all my notes about the recipe on, um, on it. I knew, knew I needed to have at least three photos, maybe more, um, circles. It had to be about a celebration. Um, and there had to be an exclamation point. I'm sure there's more, but there we go. 
Um, I really, really wanted to use these cute tags. So I'm going to add some hemp string to the tops of the tags, tuck them under. And I did that because I know directly beside that is where I want to put my title, which I've already die cut. And I didn't want, I wanted to make sure I had room. So our little title is just going to be party time. All of Morgan's graduation party photos are going to be, um, they're going to be multi photo layouts. So this will probably be the first one. And then I have already done one with all about food. And that one's on my channel somewhere. Um, <laughs> we had sushi and we had a great time. I also want to do a photo. I have some close up photos of his cake. I want to do a cake. Um, page because he got a Yoda cake, which was super cute. So, um, I'm going to just use this party time photo. I, or a party time title. I die cut my, these letters using my memory box wooden alpha dot die from material on top. And I just used one of the travelers notebook papers from the, my story matters collection to die cut my title. Uh, I chose not to do, uh, thickers like dimensional letters. We have some other types of dimension uh, hanging out on my desk here that we're going to use on this chat on this particular page. So I didn't need the dimensional title. I could just die cut out of the pattern papers and pop it onto my layout. Now I'm going to go ahead, take my favorite circle dies and die cut a whole mess of circles. So when I die cut circles, I just attach the circles the dies to the, the pattern papers, trim around them, and then I go ahead over to my die cutting machine and cut them out. So I decided to add just a little bit. I have all these cute little like die cut elements from the My Story Matters collection. I went through them all, chose some things that I thought would be perfect for my title, for, um, some of the photos. So I chose like one little saying to go with each of the photos and, that I thought would work really well. And now I'm just going to go ahead and grab those. I did add a staple to these two little ones because they just fit perfectly right in there. I have all of my dies cut and they are actually in place on this layout. And then I also have two little speech bubbles above my title. See how I covered up all the little plus signs? That's okay. Um, I'm going to use those two little speech bubbles to add some journaling. I haven't, I haven't worked out what journaling I want to add to this page versus some of my other pages that I'm going to do about his graduation party. So I'm just uh, kind of like, I'm going to do them all. And then I'll have a better idea of what I want to say about these particular photos. This is going to be like the first page. So it'll start with this one and then there'll be a couple more pages of this kind of event. So there might even be a pocket page. I haven't decided yet. So um, I just decided we would kind of skip the journaling until I have the other pages done. And then I'll have a better idea of how I want to journal this page. So now I'm just kind of sticking and plunking all of these cute little die cut elements. Again, this is the die cuts are from the sticker pack for the same My Story Matters collection from Tracy Reed. And I will go ahead and link up her shop. So she has her shop is organized. Um, like I can't just grab a collection and link you up to the whole collection. So just know it's the My Stories Matter collection, and I will make sure to put that down below as well. I uh, also added this epoxy flare that I have been hoarding. I bought them the summer of his graduation party. So I bought them the summer of 2019. And this one that said graduation party, I have been hoarding and waiting to do this page so I could add it. I did pop up my camera and now I'm going to go ahead and add some flare. So I wanted to, I want to make sure that in addition to all of my paper elements, I have some dimension and texture. Those are always my hybrid layout goals. So paper, dimension, texture. Sometimes that involves things like glossy accents, 
in this case, it's going to involve some things like these gorgeous flares from Daddy About Flares. So I'm mixing Daddy About Flares and Scrap and Happy Studios epoxy flares, and you can totally do that, and it's fabulous. Last but not least, I know part of the recipe that Jen put together for us was sequins. Oh, you know how much I love that. It's actually any kind of sparkly thing, but for me, sparkles mean it's sequins. Like, there's nothing else, so... I just grab Llewellyn, the llama, who is holding my sequins, and I'm going to use my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and my Crystal Katana and pop little clusters of sparkly goodness all over this page. I chose um, sea glass sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. Um, I just didn't, they were the perfect color except for the brown, so I just didn't put brown on them. Here are all of the close-ups. Be sure to head over down in the description box, hop along to the next amazing crafter we have joining us. And yay for three years of this amazing series. I know we are planning to do a fourth year come January, and I hope you'll all stick around for that. Have a wonderful day.